So I'm gonna do a small particle cutout tutorial, but um, first off, my apologies for the background noise. My neighbor has an argument with his wall and is attacking it with a hammer. So, okay, particle cutout stuff. Uh, where's my texture all of a sudden? Let me find it. Come here, there we go. I'm gonna import it. Wait a few seconds, yep, there we go. I'm gonna make sure that it's an RGB image it was and I'm gonna save it as an alpha that way you can actually keep it smaller so the maximum texture size could be 512 or 256 or whatever so there you see some compression now so you can maybe go a little bit higher that's fine okay texture group should be fine the world the texture group is effects I'm gonna save that one real quick now I'm gonna make a real quick material cut out mod Normally I should do it like this, of course. Okay, open it. Drag and drop the texture. Make sure that it's set to mast or translucent. In this case, I'm gonna go for mast and then set it to unlit. I'm gonna plug in the emissive color and opacity mask. Obviously you can set up the whole texture yourself. And there we have it. Save it real quick and make a particle system. Particle system part cut out. There we go. And I'm going to select the material in my content browser and plug it into the required node. There we go. Wait a few seconds until it loads. Again, apologies for the background noise. Okay, we can see this going now. If you go to view modes and then check the wireframe, you can see that's actually made in quite large squares. And there's some overdraw and performance loss in that. So what you can do is click on required node and select the texture that this material is made from. So content browser, select the texture and plug it in. Now it's an alpha ch channel texture only. So you think that if you use OSM alpha it will work, but for some reason it doesn't. You can select color brightness and that will work. And red, green channel, etc. will also work. So I'm going to just use the red channel. And as you can see, the overdraw is much smaller. So there you go, huge squares and in red channel, small tiny things. There might be a few more polygons, but that's totally fine. Trust me, the overdraw is worse than sp spending a few more polygons. You can also set it to four vertices so that it tries to put it all in four vertices. This is a little bit more performant, but you might have more overdraw. So just pick the one that might better in my case the eight vertices max is should be fine all right i think that's it take care